Alright, get ready. He's finally coming. Every time I make a video on this game, I'm just actually surprised that I'm still playing it. This is not a game that I was supposed to enjoy for years and years to come, like right now in 2023, because its player base is kinda low, it's an experience definitely not for everyone, and overall the studio creating this aren't making a lot of money anymore, they are literally doing this out of pure excitement for a game that no one has really made before. No one is really buying this game though, you can find 3 to 4 servers to play on in public, so why are they always pumping? out massive updates completely for free and why is their next update even bigger than the last one with another new map coming in well it is a question that i don't know the answer to but i'm glad this project is still alive welcome to bigfoot a really fun action over fps game where you hunt down the renowned mysterious monster that can be controlled by a player or an ai just recently bigfoot received one of its biggest update ever and it completely changed the overall feel the gameplay the environments the action and so on of the game. It pretty much changed everything about Bigfoot and made it a game that's 100% worth playing in 2023. In my opinion, it's got a new map that released some time ago along with new weapons and such, but now it's made everything look, sound and feel better. Welcome to update 5.0, the massive switch to Unreal Engine 5 with new colors, new environment, new buildings, new trees, lightning and more. Now before we begin, Bigfoot is a survival horror game about hunting Bigfoot. There are two modes available, you can play against Bigfoot controlled by AI, or another player can play as the monster. It's pretty simple, you collect ammunition, study the terrain, take photos of Bigfoot if you can, and defend yourself from other predators as well. There's not only Bigfoot roaming around here, but other wildlife that may not want you close to them. They will attack fiercely and unfortunately, you and your friends might even die at the end of a bear or a buffalo. before you even get to see Bigfoot. You must use everything available to you to avoid becoming the bottom link of the food chain and to survive the wilderness of the American wildlife sanctuaries. There are camps and villages in these maps from which you can find resources and weapons. Bigfoot the game is now working fully on the new Unreal Engine 5 and now supports the new Lumen Global Illumination Systems. Thanks to this, the lightning has become more realistic and pleasant. They also completely redesigned many objects in the game like new buildings, to support Lumen Global Illumination, they had to redesign the building models. Now they are much better quality and optimized. In addition to new models and high quality testing sprites, trees also receive roots that adapt to the shape and texture of the ground surface. Not only the form, but also the material was changed. Cliffs and rocks now blend better with the environment due to the ground texture projection system. Oh, and unfortunately for the hunters, they also made Bigfoot bigger and more intimidating than before. So of course it will look way scarier than before. And they also added Xbox controller support so we can finally play this on a controller. They also teased the next big map that will be coming to the game which is the Rust Lake map which should be releasing in August. Now if you guys want to see more of this game in these new updates let me know right now by liking this video. While playing as Bigfoot, you are truly the king of the forest, the most elusive and mysterious monster in the world. People have stepped into your territory, make fires and hunt your deer. How can this be endured? All you have to do is gain strength, release claws and tear apart everyone who gets in your way. The hunters or other players have guns, but you have predatory abilities, also incredible stamina and stealth in your arsenal. 